All right, so today we're going to look at the Bisky, the CPU water block. There's the, uh, what it says, here's what it says on the back. It's kind of hard to see, but uh, I will have a link in the description. I'll pop up a picture or something as well. Um, for this on Amazon. And anyways, let's get this open and see what it comes with. So, looks like we have a little, nope. Instruction manual. That's all in a different language. Yeah, the entire thing is. But uh, there is pictures and whatnot. So it looks like we have some mounting hardware. like some more mounting hardware we have a controller here so we got fans looks like uh, eight fans we have a PC input power LED strips uh, more LED strips, and it's got some 3M on the back. We have a Molex to 4 pin. Looks like that is proprietary to this guy here. And then we have a RGB to uh, 4 pin here, minus 1. A remote and it's like we have a back plate this is plastic looks like uh, m3 or m4 something like that screw holes and then the main thing let's see the box out of the way is the CPU block and this thing is heavy. So, there's the CPU block there. These look really, really nice. This is a uh, nickel plated copper. And uh, I will say this thing does weigh quite a bit. Uh, it's pretty heavy. You can see there we have in, out, and then right there it just says um, CPU. Um, BPA we got a little logo right there and we have uh, micro channels there but uh, there's the thickness of it and you can see the LEDs there and then we have a cable here for the LED uh, it's pretty long and then so one of these cables yeah looks like this here so this little short one will plug into here and then you can plug it into your motherboard and control it that way. Or you can plug it into this box and control it with the remote. Um, I'm going to be plugging it into my motherboard. I don't like user remotes for stuff like that. But uh, yeah, check that guy out. That is a nice water block. very very clear you can see through the side there uh, just how clear that water block is very nice threads look very nice and clean but, uh, yeah there it is let me uh, grab a scale we'll see uh, how much this weighs 
All right, so I got a scale here. Let's see what this guy weighs. So it looks like we have 8.7, 8.6 ounces. So uh, pretty heavy uh, water block there. So yeah, um, I'll get this installed in my computer and uh, I'll come back and put it on. We'll see exactly how it looks. But uh, like I said, the link for this guy will be in the video. This is for LGA 1151. I'm using an i7 8700K. They do have for AMD as well. So nickel plated copper. All right, so a quick update. So these come off of here. Sorry, I'm using one hand here. And then screw into there. And I had a Corsair AIO. So my studs, um, the back plate for the Bisky and Corsair is almost exactly the same. So what I did was I took my caps off uh, here and screwed it into the Corsair. And what's going to happen is the block is going to go on here. Okay. So we're going to have the block. And then it comes with these little clear, like little washer things. And then you're going to put your spring on there. And then you're going to tighten this down. So just a quick little update. All right. So I just powered the pump on. <clears throat> uh, let's go in there kind of waiting for some of the air to get out of there but uh, there's what the CPU block looks like and uh, so far no leaks all right and there's the CPU block kind of just have it cycling some colors right now still trying to work out some of the air bubbles in the system and I got to set the fan profile the fans are kicked up way high but uh yeah idle temp right now um i'm overclocked at 4.9 idle temp is between 28 and 30 c so so far so good thanks for watching guys